hello everyone i'm back i'm finally back i know it's been a while but i did say in my last video that i was going to be gone until after a levels and it is now after a levels to be fair it's actually been quite a little while after a, a levels no actually it's only been it's not even been two weeks it's been a week and two days it's felt a lot longer than that i can't lie i finished last monday and it's currently the week after on wednesday and i feel like because i've kept myself so busy it's like gone i don't know but wouldn't that mean that it, it should have felt like less time i don't really know what i'm saying but basically it just feels like i finished a levels like years ago but it's not even been two weeks yet i did tell myself that i was gonna film straight after i finished but i i didn't i'm sorry but i'm here now i thought i'd just do a get ready with me because i haven't done a get ready with me in a while just thought i'd sit down and chat since it's been a long time i'm actually going out today i'm going into town i don't know if i should do a separate vlog for it i've not decided yet we'll see how i'm feeling i'm going into town with rosa we're gonna go to junkyard golf for the first time because honestly since i've turned 18 i've barely done any 18 things like i've literally been to the club like three times since i turned 18 and i turned 18 in february and it's currently july in a few days i've been wanting to go junkyard golf for a while so i thought we could go today we're gonna go spoons beforehand and then go because we're broke students and i went when i was booking it i didn't realize that it was like three different like themes and like three different courses you could pick out of and we decided to go with pablo it's like a jungle theme hopefully it's good i've seen some tiktoks of it and it does look very fun i'm very excited god knows what it's going to be like tipsy because i've only played like golf like that once in the trough center and uh, fuck me i was not <laughs> it's not good whatsoever so once like, a few drinks ago i mean god knows what's gonna happen but anyway let's get into actually doing makeup because i've already been talking for too long i feel like my makeup routine's kind of changed quite a bit as well oh wait i need to put my clips in I have a little pot of like these really cute hair clips. Should we do white? Should we do black? Let's do white. As I was saying, I feel like my makeup routine has changed quite a bit. So you'll see that. Anyway, A levels. I can't believe they're over. Like I genuinely am still like processing it. Sometimes it just feels like it was all a dream. Fuck me, it was actually hell though. Like probably the worst two years of my life. It really fucking drains the life out of you. People weren't over exaggerating it before I started. They were telling me that it was going to be horrible and that I would want to actively just to end my life and that is exactly how it was so if you didn't already know i don't know if i've mentioned it on my channel before but um i did business economics and french and let me tell you <laughs> french <laughs> actually made me depressed i'm pretty sure it was my favorite subject at gcse i absolutely loved it so obviously i took it at a level but i didn't even look at the like what's at the spec and what we were gonna do i just cooked it because I, I loved it and then I got into it and it was literally like the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life but I pulled through I was like and everyone kept telling me it was gonna get better and I kept telling myself oh no it's fine like it'll improve over time and teachers kept telling me that there was gonna be some light bulb moment and that it usually occurs in year 13 I, I'm still well obviously it's over now but like I waited for that light bulb moment until the very end and I never experienced it I really struggled with French and I can't lie I don't see myself getting a good grade i did really try my best though but yeah that shit killed me off and then business was pretty decent i just feel like it was timing and like exam technique which would throw me off most of the time but it was like a pretty decent subject and then economics was a hit or miss sometimes i genuinely hated it with a passion and at other times i was like this isn't too bad i'm actually kind of enjoying it so i don't know i did really try my hardest with all my exams oh my god my like exam period was literally one of the longest ones i think ever to exist because my first exam was the 23rd of april which was my french speaking and then my last one was the 19th of june so it was literally it was over a month and some people were like three weeks or something it really pissed me off actually anyway i'm going in with the elf halo glow liquid filter i recently bought this i've used it like a couple times and it's so nice because i would always just Put concealer all over my face because i hated the feeling of foundation this is like this is different to foundation this is um i don't even know what it is but it's like really light which i like because the, the reason i hate foundation is because of how like heavy it feels on my skin and i feel like i'm being suffocated but this is nice and light but yeah that is a chapter of my life over it's crazy i've got prom 
coming up in like two months i think it's on the 19th of august which is actually really late like most of my friends have already had their prom i don't know why ours is so late but to be fair i kind of actually prefer it this way because i get to get my holiday tan before i have my prom oh yeah holiday i'm going to turkey in literally less than two weeks now i don't know how long it's come this quickly but i've already prepared myself like i've already bought everything i need to buy so i am very ready i've been waiting for a holiday literally since year 13 started so i'm gonna be vlogging that as well like i did last year we're going to turkey again i think i already said that we went to turkey last year as well we literally go there every year we fucking love it i'm going in with top concealer by the way i like to mix these two shades and this time i am going with obviously my parents and my brother and my auntie are also coming along i went alone with my parents last year which i can't lie if i didn't make friends there at the hotel i would have been bored out of my mind i'm not joking like i actually don't know what i would have done and obviously my brother and my auntie are quite young well my auntie's actually like she's like 33 i think which obviously is a lot older than me but she actually genuinely acts like younger than me so it's great i can't lie it is really good so i won't need to try and make friends there you know what i, I don't think i could get drunk on holiday like i did try last year but it just didn't work i don't know if it's because the alcohol's like weaker over there i don't know what it is because my parents would like drink after they eat dinner but with me i literally physically cannot get drunk once there's food in my system i have to eat like a few hours before i start drinking for it to have an effect because i would consider myself quite a bit of a heavyweight most of my family are apart from my auntie oh my god she's the biggest lightweight to exist or my other option is day drinking which i just like it just doesn't sit right with me like why would i want to be wavy when i'm trying to like lie down in time like i don't want to be lying there with my head spinning do you know what i mean and i also don't want to be like bloated whilst i'm in a bikini so i don't really know what i'm gonna do to be honest i'd have to probably just eat like a really light dinner or something if i wanted to get drunk one night now i'm gonna go in with some bronzer still using my kylie one that i got for christmas oh my god my eyebrows are also really messy but i'm waiting until like before my holiday to prepare myself fully like you know the period where you have to like grow out all your hair <laughs> before a holiday so that you can like get rid of it all right before the holiday so it's like fresh and clean for your holiday do you know what i mean i don't know why my chest and my face looks like such different shades in the camera like when i'm looking in the mirror they're the exact same I don't know, oh, right, let's just ignore that. But yeah, I'm doing a full body wax before a holiday. When I, when I mean full body, I mean full body. <laughs> I'm actually kind of terrified. I'm getting it like professionally done. Just one area though. You can probably guess what that area is. I'm so scared. I feel like it's gonna be the most painful thing I'm ever gonna experience. I can't lie. I'm doing everywhere else myself, including my face. I even waxed my face because, you know, Middle Eastern girl, she gets a hairy face. But it's just gonna be so nice afterwards when I just feel like a naked rat. Okay, right, I'm gonna contour now. Oh my god, you know what I'm really annoyed about as well? I've booked for more lip fillers. Look at my lips. They've already gone skinny again obviously like you can still tell i've had them done they're not as skinny as they were before i had them done i do still like them but i want them to go back to how they were like a week after i got them done and they were like really plump and nice so i've booked to get more but what really annoyed me was there was no space for before my holidays so i've had to book for the 29th of july but it's also good because it's before my prom and leeds fest so i'm not too annoyed obviously i would have preferred to have them before my holiday but all right i'll probably vlog that as well but i'm not getting a mil this time i'm getting less i'm getting 0.7 mil because i don't want to overdo it i don't want to overfill my lips and then to like migrate really bad or just look like duck lips do you know what i mean so hopefully they'll look good the thought of uni like i can't believe i'm starting it in what how many months it, let's just call it july now because it's literally july in a few days it'll probably be the end of september so like three months that i'm out of here three months left of like living in this bedroom in this house with my parents like what? Look how depressing the weather looks right now. It's just pitch black. It's half three and it's almost July. What's that about? It's really annoying because the whole time I was locked up in my house for A levels, I kid you not, it was like UV index seven, 20, like four degrees, boiling hot, sweating, fan on, suffocating in my room, sun shining in, and I had to be stuck inside here to revise. And now that I've finished my exams and I'm free, this is what I fucking get. And I watched this happen, yeah? Because this happened last year as well. I'm going to go on holiday and it's going to be sunny again. Watch it happen. I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling you this now and it will happen. <sighs> anyway, okay, what am I doing? Powder. I recently got this powder puff from Sheen. I got five of these in a pack for 85p or like 89p something like that how good and they're so much better than beauty blenders because i used to use dry beauty blenders but oh my god this has changed my life i've also bought like loads of new shit from tiktok shop as well which i'll probably end up using in this video what the fuck is that 
oh god but yeah these are so good they're like so soft and just like melts into your skin oh it just feels so good also i've managed to catch a little bit of tan in england when it was sunny like during my a levels when i like during my breaks i'd go outside to tan in the sun let me try to find a line for you see that yeah england my back i've got like a fat line as well but i can't remember what i'm showing you right now i don't know whether i should do my usual mascara and eyeliner or stick on some eyelashes that i got from sheen i feel like i should go for something different and do the eyelashes because i've got these individual they don't look like individuals but if, if you look up close like they've been cut up and then because i saw this girl on tiktok use these oh my god every time i put this powder on my like nostrils get so fucking itchy anyway yeah yeah i saw this girl using these and she was like sticking them underneath and they look really nice they look like eyelash extensions i'm also not getting eyelash extensions this year for holiday which like I'm, i am partially kind of upset about because i did really love them last time i got them like i just felt like really nice like during the day but since i'm with my auntie and my brother this time like i want to actually enjoy myself in the water and stuff because last year i was like oh like don't get the water in my eyes and like stressing about it and i was just like such a debbie downer and just so boring so i don't want to do that this year should i do them i just feel so like extra because it's literally just a casual wednesday I think I'm gonna do them. <laughs> oh my God, this is so difficult. Especially because I have nails now as well. Okay, we've got one piece. Oh, Rose is messaging me. I should probably check, see what that's about. Just put some glue on this. And in my recent Sheen shop, oh my God, I bought so many things. Oh, I should have done a haul on YouTube for it. Darn, oh well. One of the things I got was a mini electric fan because I thought it would be very beneficial for holiday. And also when I like do my skincare, I like my face to be like dry before I add the next product on. Okay, oh, I can't do it. Oh wait, which eye is this? This is right. I think that's stuck on. I don't know. Oh, see, this is just gonna make my eyes water now. Okay, we'll call it a day. I feel like if I just sit here, and do my eyelashes like on camera it will genuinely make the video three times longer than it should be so i will go and finish the rest of my eyelashes and we'll see how they turn out and it's time for the clock and we'll see how long it bloody takes me because i feel like it's gonna take me a while what time is it it's quarter four see you in however long guys i'm not joking i'm literally sweating these two pieces have been pissing me off so much it's the two that go in here these two are stuck on fine they've been fine it's been what 15 minutes so i've not even been able to finish one eye yet. i'm genuinely sweating because i'm getting so agitated sorry i'm quite a lot of concentration oh my posture oh, freaking, freaking hell. oh now it's cold I think I've stuck that on. The lash just wants to embarrass me and work as soon as I start filming. I ain't filming the whole thing though. We'll be here forever. Ah, I just touched my eyeball. Oh, that was weird. That was really weird. Guys, I can't express to you how much I hate eyeballs. <laughs> Ew. Anything to do with eyes, man. They just creep me out. Eye drops. <clears throat> can't do them. And I've seen like videos, I can't remember where, of like laser eye surgery. Thank you, God, for not making me blind because I could never go through with that. And like contacts just can't do them i got sent some eye contacts once and i put them in they were really cool but it took me genuinely hours to get one in my in my eyeball and then taking them mm, taking them out <sighs> let's not talk about it i don't want to get any flashbacks i think i've done one eye i still think i hate them why do they look so messy like do you know what i mean like they're all not going up in <gasps> it's burning my eyes burning i'm not taking this off because i've put way too much time into it it's already five past four it's been 20 minutes and we've filmed on one eye so i'm done and i've just realized how long this powder has been sitting on my face for it's been baking for a little bit too long it's pretty much burnt now now that that shenanigans is over with we're gonna do some blush i hope it's not too like dead at junkyard golf tonight because obviously it is a wednesday night like, who's gonna go out drinking on a wednesday night well here i am doing that that's just because i'm off 
Honestly, I feel like I'm back in GCSE year 11 summer where I would drink like four times a week. Last week I drank three times and they were consecutively and I'm drinking again Wednesday today. And then I'm, I'll probably definitely be drinking on Friday and God knows after that as well. It's how I should be doing it. Because I need to be training myself for Freshers Week as well. Freshers Week? Is that was called Freshers Week? Oh, I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna go over that with some powdered blush. I'm just gonna use this this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Blush Quad Palette, pa quad palette that I got from an advent calendar at Christmas. I'm gonna go with the darker shade, but it's actually really pigmented. Oh my God, it's almost half full. Oh my God, I need to hurry the fuck up. Freckles, I've done my freckles and now it's highlight time. I'm just gonna go with my sleek highlight because I don't want anything too extreme. So it's the eyes are already extreme and I'm fucking hell. You know what? I'm kind of craving a Mackie's tonight. Ever since I had that, Mackies on. The the Friday night we went out to celebrate A-levels, I had a Mackies drunk for the first time in my life at half three in the morning in town. And oh my God, it was so busy. The busiest I've ever seen Mackies. It was genuinely like a social event. And I had the mozzarella balls that they've recently released with some chips and oh, they were so nice. I think it's, it's obviously because I was drunk and I was hungry probably, but they were piping hot as well, which I wasn't expecting because usually my Mackies is always cold. So I was like, it's probably going to be cold at this time of night as well. But no, it was literally the best Mackies I've ever had in my life. And ever since then, I've been craving it since. I want the mozzarella balls again. It was so nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray my face before I do my lips. So I also bought this from TikTok shop. I got the Wee Cherie. Wee Cherie. Wee Cherie. Hydrating Dual Face Setting Mist. It smells really, really good. But I don't actually know if it works. I really just don't know how to tell whether a setting spray works or not. Like, I feel like, I mean, hold on. I also you just spray a lot on because the mist oh, i've just sprayed it all over my mirror fabulous look at the state of that you have to spray a lot on because it's like very like misty it dries nice and quickly though I and mean, i've got two fucking fans going on i got this from sheen from she glam because i did really want to try the makeup from sheen because i've heard some good stuff about it on tiktok and stuff and i did need a brown lip gloss so i was like perfect so i got this lip gloss in the shade sepia cliff oh my god i just realized what <laughs> ah, Sepia Kiss. I tried it already, it's really, really nice, but scammed me, yeah, because it's supposed to be a lip plumper. So I thought, okay, it's gonna like, you know, it's gonna be the ones that burn and like make your lips look a little bit more plump. No, it's just an ordinary like lip gloss thing. And you have to like click it. it, takes a few times for it to come out though. And it's a really, oh, it's a really pretty round color. So pretty. Okay, that's me done. I don't know what to do with my hair. I think I might just leave her down. I'm going to go try find an outfit and see if I do something with my hair. Right, so I've moved you guys over here because the lighting's better. I'm not vibing with my hair. I'm not really vibing with anything, to be honest, but I don't know whether I should... I can't really see the flares, but you know I'm wearing flares. I don't know if I should wear this top with this jacket. I'm wearing this top. Basically, I don't know if I should wear this cardigan or this jacket because I don't want to wear both because it's, um, it's cold. I mean, it's warm. Guys. Uh, why can I not make a simple decision like this by myself? I end up going with the leather jacket um, and then I put the cardigan in my bag because it fits in there. Thank you for watching, if you did for the whole time because I did waffle quite a bit and I have a fucking a whole thing with the eyelashes. But you know what? They actually don't look too bad now that I'm, I'm looking at them. I think I did a pretty decent job. I will see you very soon with whatever's to come. Hopefully Junkyard Golf is fun. Bye bye.